Hi everyone, very pleased to be with you today for this lightning talk at Spy Data Global 2022. So we'll see how to build a web app in Python with Dash. If you have a knowledge in HTML in Python, very basic knowledge, it's quite helpful, but you don't need any knowledge, uh, Dash knowledge. So what we'll be doing today, we'll build a very simple web app that shows uh, amount of routes in two different cities, San Francisco, Montreal, so that you can see that's in a very simple way you're able to build a web app. And that's more uh, an example that a real case. Then uh, I can tell you more about uh, different options that we can uh, have with Dash. So uh, it all starts with pip install. So if you're familiar with Python, you may know already about this, about pip. We just need two packages here, dash and pandas. So dash comes with uh, quite a few uh, libraries. And uh, I talk more now about libraries we'll uh, need to use for this app. So uh, we will uh, use, in this case, four libraries. First, dash um, with a capital letter, which is used to initialize the app. Then HTML in DCC that are uh, useful to build components in the layout of the app. Then Plotly Express, which is actually a visualization library, uh, like uh, Seaborn, Matplotlib. And that is uh, included already in Dash. So that's quite simple and integrated and easy to use. And finally, pandas. So one, we have uh, imported the packages we need, the libraries we need. We just um, write here uh, one line of code to initialize the app. And then before to go straight to visualization, the first thing we, we need to do is to have our data in a structured way. So with a pandas data frame, we have uh, many different options. We can uh, use a read HTML, read CSV, and this kind of functions so that we are able to get data in many different formats. In this case, to make things simpler, we just create uh, data from, some, from scratch and through uh, free dictionaries with fruits, amounts, and cities. So if we print the data frame, you can see here uh, different fruits, uh, different amounts, and different cities. It is pretty much like a table with also indexes. In our case, that's not something that will be very relevant. But that's one um, characteristic of uh, data frames. So once you have our data structured into the data frame, we can then uh, produce the visualization. So if you remember, what we want to do here is a bar chart. So we uh, call px, which is short for uh, Plotly Express, dot bar, which is a property express method to build a bar chart. And then we just have to specify parameters. So the first one is to specify where the data comes from. It comes on our case from DF, which is our data frame. Then we need to specify what we will want to have in X axis and Y axis. So in X axis, we'll have a fruit in y-axis the amount and we will also use color so that we can show the information for each different city and we also have a parameter that allows us to choose to have uh, bar charts together for a single element of uh, x-axis so we define here in bar modes group That's great. Uh, we have uh, our graph already. And 
what we just need to do right now is to basically build the layout of the app. That's uh, here uh, where we leave. that's now that we will use uh, HTML components and uh, dash components. So HTML components uh, are, for example, div h1. So there is a syntax here, which is just uh, HTML dot components so you want to use. So here we will have first a uh, large div that will uh, include so different components of our app. So first you have a div, and then inside this div, you have a title, html.h1, and then a text, html.div, with our text. And finally, there is a dash component, dcc, that stands for a dash core components. So you have different kinds for uh, drop down and different things. In this case, we use um, the graph, graph being the components that allows us to uh, embed a graph. So here we, uh, in our case, we uh, just need to specify in figure what uh, graph we will have. Here we choose fig, which is the name of uh, the graph we uh, we built just before. So once we have that, we're basically done. Just the final step is to uh, write the command so that uh, the app can be run. Dash is based on a Flask server. So the, this uh, code here comes from uh, Flask. And we have these two lines here. Uh, we basically say just uh, run the app. And once you have that in the console, we can have, uh, we will see this message. So we'll see that the app is running on this uh, following address. We'll see here that serving Flask app. So in this case, the name of my app is Python Global. But here it will be the name of, of your app. And as we are still testing, we have debug modes on just earlier here. We have this option, this parameter, debug equal equals true. So that's when we want to see uh, errors that may that we may have. So uh, we just need to click on this link. And that's it. We have our, our dashboard, our uh, bar chart graph. And here, since it is a very simple example, we don't have interactivity and uh, those kind of different features, but that's something that is possible to do easily. Uh, for people who are interested, I can share in the chat some links about uh, other examples of app, maybe more advanced uh, apps. And uh, the very last thing uh, to have our app in production is to deploy it. That's a topic for uh, our talk, but I can also share some more uh, information about it for people who want, may want to know about that. So I'd be happy to keep in touch with you. You can send me an email at this address, dah.chapuis, at gmail.com, or you can find me also on LinkedIn, David Chapuis. That's it. Thank you.